Welcome to Timelines of Success, episode 267. So Timeline is doing a little facelift. We're starting something called EO Reno. So on the first Wednesday at 1130 at Swill Coffee and Wine in Reno, Nevada, we're going to be doing a podcast with some entrepreneurs and then we're going to have a little meetup and talk about how we can help each other, things we can work on. So anyway, listen in to our first episode of EO Reno at Timelines of Success and enjoy. So in this first episode, uh, we have four entrepreneurs at Swills. We have Frank Irwin, who did four tours in Vietnam, a very successful entrepreneur, and has many other talents. He lives up on the lake in Lake Tahoe in Incline Village. We have Jake Willards, who is an international filmmaker right here in Reno, who does work with all the major agencies and stations and TVs and special projects. We have Silva Hera, a PhD consultant and FDA compliance specialist. And we have Ronald Rohrbeck with a business Facebook page with over 50,000 subscribers. And one last thing, go ahead and you're listening on a podcast. That's great. But check out Timelines of Success, episode 267 and watch the video blog. We're getting some really good numbers on our blogs in the thousands. So we'll talk about that in other episodes, how we're doing it. But go ahead and check out our vlog if you're listening to the podcast and vice versa. If you're on the podcast and you want to drive around, you can listen to this on the podcast. Just go ahead and put Timelines of Success on iTunes or Stitcher or just sort of Google Bill Conrad. You'll probably find me. Well, let's get into this episode and let's meet these gentlemen. It's amazing. We just got a few folks together, try to do this once a month, and we'll make a podcast of it. It'll go better next time because I'll actually have a forum. So today we're going to just do a quick around the table, maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Then we're going to go and study about how to make the best Facebook business page, which of the six we should use. So real fast, we have Frank with us. Frank, tell us about yourself. Well, basically, I'm an entrepreneur. I've been able to do many different things over my life, um, everything from being a hyperbaric medicine specialist to clowning, locksmith, uh, teacher, you name it. If it needs to be done, I can do it or try to do it anyway. Now, you are in Vietnam, too, at one time. Yes, I actually did four tours in Vietnam. That's amazing. Four, is that four, almost four years' worth of tours? Yes, there's four different campaigns. And I was a corpsman over there and uh, basically got tired of being shot at, so I volunteered to become a Navy diving corpsman. And once I did that, I didn't have to go back to Vietnam again. And then how's that help your business as an entrepreneur? Well, actually, it didn't do much until I decided to get out of the Navy, and then I started down at a private college and taught commercial diving, and from there moved up back into hyperbarics and worked through that and started doing my clowning 40 years ago and magic and entertaining and just keep picking up different things and adding to my, my uh, retro part. Now, we're in Reno, Nevada. You've got to tell us what you like best about Reno, Tahoe. Ah, uh, Tahoe. It's God's country. <laughs> I've been up here 27 years, and I love it there. Regrettably, I'm going to have to sell my house and move. Oh, well, I know a good real estate broker. You do? Yeah. I thought you did. <laughs> Get a good deal. But, um, yeah, I'm afraid my wife's health has gone to the point where we've got to get her off the hill. It's yeah. too much altitude. So you came down today? I came down today basically to go to the VA and get some tests done and heard about this, so I thought I'd stop in and see what's going on. That's good. That's really good. Now, are you in Incline right now? I live in Incline. Like I say, I've been in the house I'm in since 2001. Wow. And um, my wife and I, we got the house, and we're going to remodel, and instead got four grandkids and remodeled them instead, and that hooked us into the foster care system. We did foster care for 15 years. 37 wow. kids came through the house. What a place to have foster care and incline it, village. It was and ideal. Unbelievable. The town itself supported those kids so much and did so much for them. Uh, one day I came out, and there was four bikes in my driveway. I still today don't know who gave them to us for the four kids we had at the time. That's really good. So we have Jake with us next. Jake just walked in, and I thought he was from, like, South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. No, I'm from England. England originally, as of 10 years ago, moved over here to Reno uh, 10 years ago and started up a, a production company uh, specializing in wildlife filmmaking, documentary work, uh, news gathering, 
so I work with channels like Vice Evening News, um, ABC, CNN, CBS, um, as well as doing lots of local projects. Just uh, a couple of years ago, finished a project for Washoe County Health District on urban bears. And the uh, actually up in Incline did a lot of filming uh, with bears raiding trash cans and going into people's homes. Uh, and that was kind of a, a documentary slash PSA, um, which was very much about giving information on how to protect your property from the bears, because the bears are there. So, um, you know, they're going to come down. So it's taking those precautions to prevent them from coming down. Um, I started my career running a wildlife park just outside of Cambridge, England. Uh, did that for 15 years and then got into uh, hosting, presenting wildlife shows with National Geographic. Uh, I did that for the best part of a decade, uh, made 30 wildlife shows that went on National Geographic International, uh, 147 countries, 25 languages, um, which and they still go out today. Uh, then I moved over here, opened up nine caribou productions, and, um, and that's where we are today, as, as well as working on um, doing online courses for aspiring wildlife filmmakers. And I have my own podcast, which is Master Wildlife Filmmaking Podcast, where I interview professionals in the wildlife filmmaking industry. So we've got people on there like um, Rick Rosenthal, who is the uh, marine, he's a marine biologist and a marine cinematographer who filmed on planet Earth. He did all the sailfish um, cinematography for the original planet Earth. Uh, the last episode was Kim Walliter, who is on the Discovery show Man Cheetah Wild, where he goes out and literally lives and sleeps and eats with the cheetah and with hyenas. Um, so it's a, it's a really good podcast for aspiring filmmakers. That is really excellent. I was going to ask the exact name in the podcast. How long have you been podcasting? So I started this up uh, just the end of last year. So the, the entire uh, masterwildlifefilmmaking.com, which is a website which will have courses, right. workshops, and the podcast, all started, uh, I brought it all together at the end of last year, about what's, November time. What's the name of the website? So it's uh, masterwildlifefilmmaking.com. Masterwildlifefilmmaking.com. Correct. Very, very good. And by the way, that leads us to our site here, eoreno.com eoreno.com so, so I throw a pitch for EO Reno. now we've got Mr. Robot <laughs> I can't why Donald I can't remember I yeah. call him Roberts Donald I've known him for Robert. like ever since I've been here you gotta you gotta put okay. your up here you gotta <laughs> yeah. teach him that's well, well, have you teach him how does it die get, get close it's, get close it's around close. spell with a D you can get <laughs> 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 not like <laughs> the clowns so anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's I, know you, but not. I know you've been working on Facebook. Tell us about your Facebook channel. Well, it's a it's Facebook page. Uh, it's called uh, Chihuahuas Are Awesome. Um, uh, right now, there's about 58,500 fans on it. Um, I know, I've been doing it for a few years. I don't know exactly how long. I <laughs> Anyhow, um, and it's just just for Chihuahua, you know, people. I, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure that I would call it restricted anymore. We can, I'm, you know, I'm just, I'll grab videos, other videos, uh, other things, just because there is. I don't think there's that many Chihuahua videos out there. But. Now, I know a little bit, of Donald. You came from San Diego to Reno. Yes. And what made you do that? Um, it, it was well, we lived in San Diego, and it was sort of time to move. It was time to get out of. Uh, um, get out of California, um, and Reno just happened to be one of the options. Uh, we had some, we had enough friends here already, um, kind of, um, uh, we knew enough people here that make it not just completely moving into a foreign place. Right. So. Well, I knew a few people, but anyway, so what's next on your list? What's over uh, the horizon? Well, sometimes I don't know what's over the horizon. Um, other things I'm working on is, is uh, um, selling physical products uh, in, in one way or another. Um, and also uh, I've been working a little bit with uh, um, helping local businesses. Very good, very good. Hopefully they get a podcast and they need real estate service. Yeah, well, that too. Now, I forgot to ask Jake real fast, what do you like best about Tahoe? In Reno, Reno, we gotta say Reno. Yeah, you know, I, I you know, I, um, I lived for five years in Minden, 
and I loved the Carson mm. Valley initially. It, yes. Then we moved up here to be closer to Reno for work. And uh, I mean, it has to be Tahoe. Tahoe being, I'm, I'm 35 minutes uh, over Mount Rose to Tahoe. Spent a lot of time up there. I mean, I've traveled the world extensively with my work. Right. And there's not many places as beautiful as Tahoe. In terms of lakes, I mean, yeah. that water's astonishing. Might be a little chilly to get in and have a <laughs> swim, but, but it's astonishing. It's the, just and the, stunning. And the small lakes, too. It, it, and all the lakes around, it, absolutely. Em, emerald lakes, emerald yep. lakes, you know, up in the Yuba up uh -huh. front head, uh, are gorgeous, amazing. Yeah. They really are. And Washoe, even the little Washoe, Washoe Lake there, oh, spent yeah, a lot yeah. of time there. It beautiful. is beautiful. Now, I live on the other side of Reno, up to the west, so I go up into Truckee real fast, where you can just go up and right to the lake. So, so um, my name is Siva C Hari. C Siva, yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been in the dietary supplement and nutritional supplements market for the last uh, two and a half decades. And I do consulting for the vitamin and dietary supplement companies. And I'm also working on a website to develop this citizen science personalized health because it turns out we're not really human beings as much as we are an ecosystem because there are more bacteria cells in our body than human cells by 10 to 1. What's the name of the website? Uh, it's called probebiome.com. Say it again. Probebiome.com. Probe, P-R-O-B. P-R-O-B-E. P-R-O-B-E. What's the rest of it? B-I-O-M-E dot com. B-I-O-M-E dot com. Probe by bio biome biome yeah. dot com pro so, biome dot com see i got it <laughs> i'm a little slow so because these bacteria they eat the food that we eat and they are also impacting our obesity diabetes immune system and the, even the anxiety and depression with the products that they make so this is really important because what's in your gut is different in than mine so this becomes really truly a personalized health Okay. So that you can really figure out how to use your diet, exercise, and some of the supplements to correct any deficiencies in your system. So now, how long have you been in Reno? In I've been in Reno for four years. I came from Southern California. I love Reno because of the clean air, clean water, no traffic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, they complain about the spaghetti bowl here. It's like one little pot. Literally at 1030 at night here, like... There's no traffic on the roads except for maybe downtown. But you go in the out. No, <laughs> there's, there, I mean, at 1030, everyone goes to bed here, I think, except for downtown. What do you think? Uh, that's what I see. They're all, they're all from around the world. They come here to semi-retire or to work, and they just, I don't know, they're so busy doing stuff during the day. You know, and one thing about Reno, believe it or not, we are less of a online digital world than the rather world because so much, so many people do outdoor things here constantly. It's really neat. You're not done yet. So tell us what you like best about Reno. Oh, again, as I said, it's a beautiful location, higher elevation, higher desert than Vegas, so much cooler and yeah, more pleasant nice. to live in. And you can get to California when you need very to. Very easily and Northern California is very nice. to the Bay Area to yeah. fly off to the far off parts of the world and still come back yeah. to a fun place to be. The coast of Northern California is gorgeous. And I do, you're Southern California. We're in Southern Cal. I was in Orange County for 30 years. I worked for Allergan Pharmaceuticals. The famous product that they have now is called Botox. <laughs> so where, where are they in Irvine? In Irvine. Uh, yeah. Were you in Irvine? Yeah. Wow. Small world, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Escape from Irvine. Escape from Southern Cal. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Hey, so real fast about me. We're going to have a meetup every, the first Wednesday at Swills about 1130. We're going to have a meetup. And I'll probably invite a couple of people to come early and we'll do a mini podcast and then we'll just talk. So the meetup, the purpose of the meetup is no matter what you do is to introduce yourself to meet people and explain what you do to each other. And then I'd like to do some kind of training or course, primarily online training. And it's going to be Facebook heavy centric initially and YouTube. Because what we're doing, we're finding pixels and markers with YouTube and Facebook are really driving a lot of traffic to websites where they're a real estate agent. Now, my main money is through real estate, but I love to, to do research and technology, but you can't do it all yourself. And what I'm trying to do right now, I'm trying to hit my key, I'm trying to open up my computer here, which did it. I got to hit my magic B. And uh, so here we are. You can't really see this, but I will show this. Uh, are you taking off? Hey, thank you. So. So I will show this on the podcast. We're going to have that podcast up tonight. Did I get your email? Do you sign in? So I should have had him sign in to, um, the site. So we've got a couple sites here. You go to e here's 
So if you go to EO Reno, you can sign up if you're local, and we'll grab your information and we'll start posting up those connections in your business. So go to EO Reno. You can also find us at Meetup. A couple things I do real fast. I do build online training, online courses, mostly tra trained, oriented towards real estate professionals. We, my wife and I own a real estate company in Modesto, and I'm starting a new office in Truckee. My wife is a professional real estate broker down here with Chase International, which is a very big company. So we cover both Reno and parts of Truckee. Um, I have a podcast course, which is free, which is podcastershome.com. And finally, this is going to be on timelines, this interview. Here's my wife's website, which I've experimented with. She gets, and this is some of the proof and concept. If you go to karenconrad.com, go to her TV, you'll see six and 7,000 downloads on her YouTube, which is quite a bit if people understand typical real estate agent. They don't get that much traffic. So that's all done with pixels and tricks and uh, step by step and inch by inch. I can't do it all myself, but that's what I do. So I want to thank you folks for listening to this episode. We're at 14 minutes right now. Normally I like to go like 20 minutes. So what, what, we've got to go another five minutes. What should we talk about? Well, um, I, I mean, I think it's super interesting that you are, you're dabbling here with all of these um, kind of analytic tools with doing um, podcasting and websites. I also do my, all my own websites. Um, I'm not WordPress. I know you said you were using WordPress. Joomla. I use Joomla. Joomla. Yeah. Yeah, and I, you know, I use Joomla because it typically it has more control over what you can do with it. But I don't find I use I have you know I don't use the the um, the functions that I, I would probably need to have more control over it. So, but I have used WordPress as well. I've built websites. I used to build websites for companies, right? Um, and I kind of got out of that because I I like to finish a job and then kind of move on to the next one and. With website building, it is one of those things where the clients want constant kind of upkeep and maintenance. And uh, being primarily a videographer, that's hard to it's hard to do with the other line of business. So, um, but it, I think it's really interesting. I think probably most people want to know about how to maintain, make and maintain their own um, right. Websites. A real estate agent can actually, if they learn how to do blogs, I'm going to give a quick demonstration real fast, and you can you can explain what you're about to see. Let's look at just a incognito site right here. And just by a simple blog, and WordPress is getting easier and easier and easier. It's trying to compete with Wix. You know Wix. Yeah. So WordPress is coming up with a new version that I've, I've played with already. It's, they've got a beta test out there. And it's going to be dropped. It's going to be very, very easy. So the average person can learn to blog. And the key to blogging is to tagging your photos and tagging your words as tags. And then if you put a pixel on your page, which you'll see a pixel, you can see different like now, you're tagging those directly within WordPress, within right? WordPress. So you import WordPress. the image, and then there's an area for tags, and you just add the tags in. So WordPress is like the number one, to me, has the best SEO going of anybody. So that went right back to her website there from that tag. And then if you look down here, we're also playing with Amazon S3, where you're popping up a booklet, and that booklet is also tagged. See how fast that was? Yeah. And this is just a basic, very inexpensive uh, server that we're using for uh, its, its site ground. And this is a PDF that's just popped up And this up is a there, PDF, too, but it's tagged, too. We tag even PDFs and get information. You can actually go off of these. We tag the picture and then hook the picture from WordPress into the PDF. And a lot of videos. So if we can go on videos here, um, you'll see that the videos do the same thing. So you start getting those, the pixel and the tags. Now, YouTube calls pixels tags. So you get a tag. See the two pixels on there? Those are pixels on her site. It means when you land on her site, you're getting a pixel in your browser. Right. And that's where like, the first lesson. That one of them is YouTube, Facebook and then YouTube. And that's where you get your SEO going back. So these forth. pixels are not cookies, right? They're like they're cookies, but they're smaller. They're very similar. They're the new technology. And Facebook is really dominating. Facebook, I'm putting 90% of all my effort on Facebook with YouTube as a secondary. But the video, what, like you do, is extraordinarily important now. And the quality video. Now, these aren't necessarily high quality, but they're 99 per, most agents don't have anything. And you know Zillow, right? Zillow makes that quick little video. That drives, um, that's, just teaching people to do that is important because that drives your listing to the very top. Well, it, it, yeah, the, the statistics used to be that if you had video on your site, that it was 50 times more likely to show up on a Google first page listing than without. Just uh, by having a video there. Now, this is a Facebook ad that's fitting onto my wife's uh, Facebook page. Now, the, the class that we're going to talk about in a few minutes is going to be about which Facebook page should you use. And I sort of like your opinion, too. Have you looked at Facebook pages? Uh-huh, yeah. 
What do you think? There's six types. What do you think? What is the best one for a real estate agent to use? We're going to go down onto Facebook. We're going to look at, um, we're going to go in to uh, create a page. And you'll see there's six pages. One's local businesses and places. One's company and organizations and institutions. One's brand and product. Artist brand and public figures. Entertainment and causes. By the way, I have 20 Facebook pages. Do not do that. Um, but I've been testing them. So what we're finding is we believe that there's two things. First, a real estate agent should just have their name and not like living in Reno like my wife does. Because when you just have your name, the idea is we want them to open up the feed that's inside of, of the Facebook browser. And by just having their name, it just looks like, a, it, even though it says sponsored, it just looks like a normal page. So we, we want just the name of the person on there, I'm pretty sure. The other thing which is really interesting is unless you have a brokerage, if you're a team, you may just want to use company, organization, mm -hmm. or institution. This will get you better, we think, uh, search, everything. Um, the celebrity, we're, we're looking at the celebrity, and these all, all have different things. Celebrity, things of that nature. Podcasts might want to cause or community. You can still advertise in all these. They're all business pages. They're all designed to do advertising and make money. So as we work on it, next month we'll probably have some better concrete information, what we think is the best. Pretty sure we're going to set the new website up for uh, truck. I'm starting a new real estate team in uh, Truckee. It's going to be Truckee, North Star, and those areas. And we're going to probably use this site right here for that team. So, by the way, the, the, the website's going to be right now, it's First Realty California, all one word. That's a long website. I like shorter ones. So that, that's going to be our discussion. We'll go in more detail after the podcast. We've gone almost 22 minutes. So that's, that's sort of it. How many, what, you have some pages right now? I do, yeah. Um, not they? all of them are live. So the first one is Master Wildlife Filmmaking, which is very new. It's, it's a Facebook page as well. Yeah. I don't have your login. Absolutely, yeah. And you got video on there. And yeah. what is this video generating? So the, the video, YouTube? so these are, yeah, oh, that's nice. a vlog that See, I do. I like that a lot. Yeah. Vlogs are huge. That's on my free podcast course. By the way, you this is all very new, so you see not nice. many uh, not many hits on it yet. But it's it's really a case of what I've been doing is working on putting all of these elements together, um, which you know there's there's I think some good oh, and nice. bad about that. Um, one of the things I've been very kind of focused on is trying to pull all these elements together: the website, the Facebook page, the vlog, the courses and the podcast. But the problem with doing that is it takes a lot of time to build all of those things up and get them all live. And so some might say that's a great way to do it because then when you get one hit on there, it's going to you know springboard off to all these other places. But other points of view are, well, if you do that, you one if you haven't got a day job, you might run out of money before you ever get to the right, end Right, I agree, I agree. And two, um, you know, it can, it, 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 there can be a lot of procrastination at that point of just not getting it done. Yeah. And so you have to remain very focused, and, and I think it's right to say that, you know, if you're going to start with a vlog, maybe just do the vlog, get it out there, yes. start getting hits on it, and then work on everything else. Um, you two train of thoughts, um, but, you know, as with all us entrepreneurs, we learn as we go along, and, um, you know, some of it's good, some of it's bad, but you, you learn by your mistakes. Well, you've been an entrepreneur for a long time. You've been a freelancer, it sounds like, in the photography side. Yeah, I've been a freelancer now for 10 years um, in the U.S. And so, um, and that's really when I started my freelancing. Before that, I was very much, um, you know, had full-time day jobs, two of them. <laughs> and, uh, and now it's a, a mixture of, um, of running a production company, mm -hmm. working for local organizations, network TV, um, as well as doing uh, the online now, um, stuff. As well. I used to ask this in my early podcast, are you Mac or PC? Mac, all the way. <laughs> I used yeah. to be PC. Yeah. Once I got away from PC and I went Mac, there was no going back. I mean, Ron, I save hours. Ronald, Mac or PC? Ronald, huh? <laughs> um, I, have, I, have, I have PC. I'm a Mac. Oh, good. So we got three Macs, one PC. I still play with PC. You know, the reason why I said that is one of the main keys in here, you know, when you're starting, is you got to learn how to use either your PC or your Mac. You got to learn it before Absolutely. you learn to start doing yeah. this stuff. Yeah. And then I would say I would start with YouTube, um, recording stuff, just making a vlog on YouTube and talking. And then from there, if you want to, you can turn your vlog into a podcast. It's that simple. I mean, it's not simple, but it's not complicated. There's Absolutely. just steps. There's just little things you have to know. And I think as you were saying earlier, um, probably off, off the podcast, you were saying that having video as well is such a, um, a huge 
part of podcasting mm-hmm. because it's another avenue for me to find you. It comes up more right. in searches. I don't. Uh, my vlog is video, but my podcast is very much audio only. And that's because I use Skype for mm-hmm. most of mine. Um, or I'll go and uh, record people at festivals. Right. Um, but it's just one of those things that because I'm doing the vlog, I'm avoiding going down the well, road of making the podcast more complicated. You see what we're doing now? We've got the video on down here on the mm-hmm. iPhone, and we're talking on a Zoom 6. So this is be like the more advanced next step. I want you to just learn your first vlog, your first podcast, which you can do on the iPhone. Yeah. But it's not that hard. You it's said not- it, it said it takes time. Here's what I'm going to do. It's the 19th of July. I'm starting to get my this podcast series. I have five podcasts. I started five. One made new noteworthy. Uh, one has made over $1,000 a month on marketing that I started on just marketing. And that's, that's not excellent. bad. Yeah, yeah. That's great. The sponsors here. Yep. And, and, and I'm a major sponsor. And what we're going to do with this, we're going to start getting timelines going. Again, it's my favorite, most fun. So once a week, once a month, we'll do this meetup and I'll have a couple of people here. And it's going to be probably half the time this format. But I use Skype too, but I just record the Skype and put that up so people can see it. Right, yeah. And, and then, I don't because I do audio-only Skype yeah. just purely because a lot of the people I speak to, Sound. What the last guy was in the middle of, a, of Africa um, yeah. in, in a game reserve. And just to get a clean connection is right. hard enough. So I've actually done also phone interviews through Skype. Uh-huh. And they're, even though it's phone, it sounds like phone, yeah. I've had some great interviews. You know, I always encourage people um, on the other end to use a set of, if they're on an iPhone, use a, or even if they're on a computer, use a set of iPhone yeah. um, uh, headphones with the mic on. The earbuds, because it, yeah. it does away with all of the external noise, that, right, right, that right. little uh, condenser mic. And that'll work. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to sign off from this first pod. It's actually not first pod. It's about 260-something of timelines of success. By the way, timelines of success is too long. But I would say, as I encourage everybody around Reno and Tahoe to go ahead and log into eoreno.com and sign up. And we'll see you next uh, first Wednesday of August right here at Swills Coffee and Wine. I should know the address. What's the address? I should know. Anybody know the address? That's a good question. Hey, let me look I it up know. real quick. We're going to look it up and we're going to finish the yeah. show with a dress. <laughs> and How to fill a yeah. podcast here with... Uh, well, actually, I don't like to go over 30 minutes. I, I don't like to... We're 27.42, so you've got yeah. one minute. 3366 Lake. Side court. With that, we'll say adieu and goodbye. Cheers. Thank you. Very good. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Timelines of Success and EOReno.com. If you could go over right here and subscribe, and then, well, no, go up here and subscribe and check out other videos over here.